Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist. Uh, we have another great question this week from JT Thomas. Aside from the obvious skills, what are some credentials to highlight on an industry resume that will really help you stand out on an industry application? Uh, so when applying for a job other than the obvious skills, uh, what are some things that you should put on your industry resume? Uh, so first, I'm assuming by ob obvious skills, you mean technical skills, right? So these are the obvious skills that PhDs have, um, and they're going to assume that you have these technical skills. And any technical skills that you don't have for most PhD-level positions, um, they're also going to assume that you're able to learn how to do these technical skills, and they're going to be okay with training you um, in new technical skills, uh, and they might even prefer that because they want you to use their techniques, uh, not techniques that you might learn somewhere else. All right, so that, that's an important to clarify. Uh, their biggest concern, especially when you come in for an interview, is whether or not you have key interpersonal skills, or as we call them in, in the scientific industry, transferable skills. All right, so those are the skills that we're talking about here, and that's what you want to highlight on your industry resume. Um, you're going to put, of course, the technical skills that you have, the results you've achieved technically, but you really, really want to highlight your transferable skills because that's what they're looking for. Uh, the biggest concern, again, that hiring managers, recruiters have is that they're going to bring in the awkward PhD that disrupts the team or can't work well with the team. So you really want to highlight these transferable skills. Um, some of them include information management, project management, negotiation, budgeting skills. As a PhD, you have these skills. So you just got to start really digging in and thinking to what you've been doing in the lab already. Um, and there's lots of things. You have regulatory skills as a PhD, uh, strategic planning, professional awareness, uh, conflict resolution, and a lot more. Uh, as an aside note, we have a, a new ebook coming out, a free ebook you can download on 20 top transferable skills for PhDs. So if you're watching this, stay tuned for that. Um, but you have a lot of these transferable skills. Now, how do you highlight these on a resume? Well, your resume, if you've watched any of our other um, Ask Cheeky videos, uh, it should have a lot of white space, right? It should be one to two pages, tops, and should have great titles that are, e it's easy to skim uh, because of these great titles, these clear titles, uh, and, and bullet points. So your professional summary at the top would have three bullet points, then you have bullet points underneath your work experience. Now, how do you structure a bullet point? Uh, this is where you want to use these transferable skills. And what it should look like is, is really each bullet point should have three parts. Um, that, that includes your experience, a transferable skill you're highlighting, and then a result you've, you've achieved. Right? So for example, um, I did X, Y, Z. Right? There's the experience or the situation. Um, um, using XYZ skills, that's where you put your transferable skills, resulting in XYZ, or as demonstrated by XYZ, as evidenced by XYZ. Um, so, so this is an example of what you could do. And for example, you could say developed uh, a new methodology collaborating with other labs. Right, So you're developing a new methodology collaborating with other labs. It highlights a transferable skill of collaboration, of teamwork, relationship building, um, and then to, to achieve or resulting in um, three publications or resulting in a grant renewal or whatever it might be. So that's how you want to structure those bullet points. That's how you can use these non-obvious skills, your non-technical skills. Um, again, the key is to highlight these transferable skills and each bullet point should talk about an experience, uh, a transferable skill that you used and then a result you should uh, that you achieved. Uh, so until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.